What's going on guys? It's Andy the Pearhead Picker coming at you guys today with a quick little haul video. Uh, today I stopped at a Goodwill in uh, Salvation Army. I picked up about 42 items today. Uh, I spent 112 bucks uh, when it cost to average that out. Uh, it equaled about uh, $2.87 uh, per item. So uh, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I ended up picking up today. Um, I got a lot more clothes than I had planned on getting. Uh, I got a lot of really great hats, some hard goods, and uh, I found some awesome shoes. So anyway, uh, I'm going to jump into it and I'll show you some of the things that I picked up, give you an idea of some of the stuff I source, uh, I'll tell you why I pick them up, what I paid for them, stuff like that. So um, then all these items uh, are all obviously uh, to flip over on uh, eBay um, and Poshmark. So anyway, uh, we'll jump into it. I'll show you some of the shoes and then uh, we'll go from there. So uh, first up, got these awesome, um, these here are uh, Kobe's. These are like brand new. Um, I don't think these even have been worn. So these here, uh, Kobe Dominates, really, really nice pair of shoes. Uh, these here are um, Nike uh, Air Max, um, almost brand new as well. These are in very, very good shape and condition. Uh, I just sold a pair of Air Max here not long ago on Poshmark, and I think I got around 60 bucks. Uh, I think the Kobe's, they're probably going to be in that $60 range, if not a little more. Um, this here's a really nice pair of... Uh, Cole Haan uh, driving loafers. Um, you got like the suede and the leather, just really nice. The Nike Air. Um, what did notice the driving loafer is back here on this heel. Um, this is where it kind of like rocks um, when you're driving. Um, so, anyway, like along the, the floorboard and stuff like that. So, these here are a really nice pair of driving loafers. You guys all should be familiar with these. Uh, just a nice pair of uh, women's Skechers Shape Ups. Uh, I think these are eight and a halfs. So, a really nice pair of shoes there. And then uh, I picked up uh, these awesome um, Nike, or these are uh, Adidas boots. So, um, yeah, just a really, really nice pair of shoes as well. So, um, got a couple coffee mugs. Um, I'm picking up a few more coffee mugs here and there. Uh, this here's Maxine. It's kind of like uh, embossed. It's got the raised 3D and stuff like that. Uh, it says, don't bother me until I've had my first 12 cups of coffee. Uh, just a really, really cool mug. Um, I got this uh, Harley Davidson mug. Um, this here is embossed as well. It's got the raised 3D embossed uh, eagle and stuff like that on it. Um, I picked up a couple can koozies. I don't typically grab can koozies, uh, but they're vineyard vines, so you know, I mean, uh, I wasn't gonna leave them. Uh, you know, I got these for a uh, quarter a piece, so the two of them were together were 50 cents. So um, if any of you guys know, um, on these here they have, and I don't know how well you guys can see this, but they have like this uh, an extra pocket. So, like when you open them up, obviously for your for your can, but uh, there's a secondary little pouch or pocket. And I don't know if that's like to hold like a matchbook, uh, maybe a lighter, um, something like that. But if you guys know what this pocket is called or what that pocket is for, uh, I would definitely appreciate that. So, uh, if you guys reach out to me um, and just leave it in the comment section below. That'd be awesome. Uh, I got a TI-83. You guys all know about these. Um, this is just the basic ti uh, this isn't even the plus. Uh, they did have a TI-82. I left because um, they ordered like $7.99 for that. Um, that calculator doesn't even, I don't even think it even sells for that much. Uh, it doesn't go very much at all, but not for $7.99. Got this Mad Cats uh, RF adapter, new sealed for the PS2. Um, you know, it's not a home run item, but it is new sealed. These here do pretty well. Um, I just sold one of these actually not long ago. Nice first alert, 2-in-1 uh, uh, smoke and carbon monoxide uh, detector. So you know new sealed uh these things go for about 30 bucks uh, i believe with shipping so um and this has got the seven year warranty on it so this is a really really good one um then i grabbed uh got some wee wheels um you know these things actually you can bundle these together um and i think like uh like pre-owned the uh the wee wheels um they go around 10 to 15 bucks um if you bundle them together and then i also got a nerf wheel um this is Nerf padded wheel, so uh, I may bundle all three of them together and see if I can get about 25 bucks out of them. I don't know. Um, they're all three light enough that they'll go first class, so we'll see what happens with those. Got some great hats. Uh, first up, I got this really awesome steel chainsaw hat. It's red, white, and blue with stars. Um, brand new. I mean, it's basically in brand new shape and condition. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. This is a uh, number one selling brand of uh, handheld outdoor power equipment on the side, so it has that going for it. Um, I always like looking for them little embellishments when I'm picking up hats, just something unique and different. Um, 
This is really nice John Deere hat. Um, this has got, I don't know, it's got some texturing and stuff like that, but it's brand new with tags. Oh, so it's still got the tags. Brand new, really nice hat. We run across a lot of John Deere stuff in my area. Um, this here's a really cool uh, Where's Waldo hat, snapback. Um, you know, I have no idea what that's going to go for, but just something different. There's another uh, really cool snap on hat. Um, it has like a 90 year. Um, anniversary little deal on it too so um, I thought that was pretty decent so really really nice hat there uh, it's ABF Freight um, really nice hat and this is brand new snapback it's got the hat shaper on the inside of it that's what they call that little cardboard thing you could actually order those uh, like on eBay and stuff like that too if you want to include those in your hats um, I know that they sell those um, this here's UPS Freight you know uh, just regular UPS hat um, nice hat. I don't know. It's basically brand new condition, so I figured, you know, we'll give it a shot. Uh, price price was right, so I figured we'll grab that. This is a really cool uh, hat here, too. This is a um, uh, Big Cedar Lodge Legends of, Legends of Golf dry fit uh, hat, but it's got Bass Pro Shops on the back. So I thought it was really cool. It's basically brand new condition, so um, just something a little different. So here's Wounded Warrior Project. Nice Under Armour. Um, these hats always do really well, and this is a great color. Um, this will probably be a $25, $30 hat. Um, this here's a nice Baylor Bears. Uh, this is Top of the World. That's the Top of the World logo um, right there. But, yeah, really nice, just fitted uh, Baylor Bears hat. And they have this nice uh, Harley Davidson women's uh, bling hat. Um, it's got the barn shield with some bling on the back there, so this is in uh, great shape and condition. Um, one size, really, really nice hat there. So, uh, yeah, got some great hats. Uh, got some really cool shirts. Make a little area to start my pile. So here's a nice Callaway Golf. Um, just nice Callaway Golf dry fit polo shirt. Um, this isn't the uh, the Opti Dry. Um, but uh, the Opti Dry and these Callaway shirts do really, really well. Um, nice medium, but uh, you know, still a really nice shirt. So here's another really nice shirt. This here's Brooks Brothers. I don't pick up a lot of Brooks Brothers stuff, but this is a really nice uh, Brooks Brothers rugby, um, extra large. Just a really, really nice shirt. So uh, grab that. Rugby's always do pretty well, especially if you find like the Ralph Lauren, the Polo Ralph Lauren's, the Brooks Brothers, what have you. Uh, so here's a nice, um, I don't know you can see this, just a nice uh, Tommy Hilfiger golf vest. Uh, it's got a little flag on the back. Um, these little golf vests will start doing really well. Um, kind of spring starts approaching, so I picked up a couple nice vests. This here's a Dunbrook, uh, not a brand I normally pick up, but uh, I liked it because of that right there. Um, it's got Yogi Bear playing golf on the chest, so. I think that'll help sell this. Just really nice vest. Um, like I said, you know, the golf stuff will really start picking up here pretty soon. So here's a really cool shirt. It's uh, Jimmy Buffett. Um, songs from uh, Saint Somewhere. I was actually at this concert. Uh, and on the back it says uh, Alpine Valley. Uh, that was the show I was at, Alpine Valley. Um, I might have actually went to the Chicago one uh, this year as well. Um, I know I've, I've double dipped a couple times on uh, some of these counts shirts, but uh, yeah, these um, uh, tie dye shirts always do really well. Um, you know, it really doesn't matter what the theme is, but uh, you know, Jimmy Buffett stuff does pretty decent. And uh, you know, tie dye is just a, a really cool uh, pattern to look out for. It's a nice uh, Harley shirt. I really like this one a lot. Um, you know, there's a ton of Harley stuff out there, but I like to find the more unique uh, Harley stuff. This Harley Reno, but uh, that's what the back looks like, guys. Um, yeah, you can see it's you know it's got the lake, uh, it's got cards and dice and all that sort of stuff. So this is just a really cool Harley shirt, and this is like brand new shape and condition. So um, really, really nice shirt. It's another Harley shirt. Um, you guys know I love picking up Harley stuff. Uh, just a just a really cool Harley shirt. Nothing crazy. It has a cool graphic on the front. The back is nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing special. But uh, you know, I like getting anything other than the black shirts. And then as I say that, I got a black Harley shirt right here. Uh, but this here's a little more unique. 
Um, it's got Wiley Coyote on it uh, on the front, and then on the back, um, it's got the rest of the gang. So it's got Bugs and Daffy, Marvin the Martian, Taz, Sylvester. So this is just a really, really cool shirt. Uh, this shirt's definitely been in the wind, so it's a little faded. Uh, I do use in the wind as a keyword. Um, I don't usually say faded. I'll just say that the shirt's been in the wind. Usually uh, people that buy these, they, they know what that means. Um, it's a nice lucky brand. Uh, just a waffle knit, uh, thermal, nothing crazy. Um, you know, just long sleeve shirt, really nice shirt there. This here's a really, uh, it's a nice little jacket. Uh, While well, you can see this, this is Foot Joy. Uh, Foot Joy, kind of like a dry fit, soft shell uh, type of golf jacket. Uh, really, really nice. And then it has uh, NIU Executive Club, which um, is for uh, Northern Illinois University, which is the Huskies. Um, that's what that logo there is. So uh, really, really nice jacket. i um, hoping I do well on that. Uh, I did get a pair of jeans. I don't usually buy a lot of jeans because um, I'm horrible about listing them. And then as I say that, I just uh, sold a pair of jeans this morning. So sold a pair of Lucky uh, this morning on Poshmark. So uh, I need to get some more jeans listed. But these are Rock Revivals. It's kind of what the tag looks like. Uh, they're real blingy. Just, you know, nice men's jeans. These are Andrews or Matthews. These are Matthews. Uh, these are Matthew Straits, size 36. So, you know, nothing crazy. Just a nice pair of jeans. Um, and these will go for probably between 40 and 60 bucks. Um, Rock Revival, Revival does well. Usually on Poshmark, I think they're going to go a little better. Um, and this here's a nice uh, Carhartt shirt. Um, the reason I picked this up, one, this was basically brand new. Still has the uh, the tag on it there. Um, and it is, uh, this is a relaxed fit, and it's 4XL. So I love getting the big boy shirts. Um, this shirt here will probably go... Uh, between 27 and 32 bucks so um, just these big boy ones do really really good um, and then this one here same thing 4xl um, this one here is long sleeve nice colors just blue and white so this will do well um, same thing with this one this this will go 27 to probably 32 bucks so um, you know being 4x it's gonna do well and then last but not least um, you know, just one of them bread and butter. Uh, I love finding the Under Armour polo shirts. Um, these things always do really, really good for me. I usually get around 27 to 32 bucks out of these, um, all depending. But um, this is a medium, so we'll see how that does. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, that was pretty much my haul for today. I uh, got a ton of stuff. Uh, definitely wasn't planning on picking up this much stuff, but uh, sometimes you run into some really, really good things and uh, you just kind of can't leave them. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. I got a lot of stuff to get up and get listed. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to get back to you and answer your questions. Uh, if you like this sort of video and what have you, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel or you're new, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, and then also hit the little ring the little bell. It'll give you notifications anytime I go live. Uh, or post new videos and what have you and then uh, typically then I'll do a weekly sales update I try to do weekly sales update videos um, pretty regularly um, I just did a, a huge sales update video uh, last week I think it was a hundred some items uh, about 80 on uh, eBay and about 20 some on Poshmark um, that I posted uh, for New Year's Eve so you guys uh, want some good background noise and just uh, get a good idea of some things that sell over on eBay and Poshmark. You guys can go check that video out. I believe that's uh, Making Money Monday, Volume 74. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So uh, that's going to do it, guys. It's my time. Thanks for watching. And as always, fins up, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great day.